If you fancy yourself to be a superhero or a super Casanova who likes to lead a dual life, then try Spice Dual D80 to switch between your mild-mannered phone and its alter ego. As the name states, D80 is a dual SIM card phone that allows you to use two separate GSM numbers. Though the design is unimpressive, like all dedicated flip phones, Spice Dual D80 has an OLED display on the outside and sports a 1.3 megapixel camera in the front as well. On the left side of the phone is a thoughtfully placed hot swap slot for the secondary SIM card and at the bottom is the slot for the micro SD card. There's also an image editor if you want to jazz up your pictures a bit so the photos can be a bit grainy and dull. The D80 does live up to its claim 3.5 hours of talk time and can be charged directly from the PC. For a phone featuring dual SIM cards, the phone is decently priced at 9,849 rupees. But no FM and no Bluetooth mean the phone won't leave you exactly starry-eyed and the Tech 2 rating is 3.5 stars out of 5. Well, in the past, we've uh, tried out a couple of these uh, dual number phones. There was a GSM and CDMA dual phone from Motorola in the past. There's been uh, CDMA, CDMA, GSM, GSM, all sorts of combinations. But so far, we must say that the D80 has been the easiest to use and operate among all these uh, multiple number phones. And uh, even the camera was surprisingly decent enough, which you usually don't get in a phone which has uh, something else as its main speciality. We also like the fact that uh, the swapping slot for the second SIM card and uh, the memory card are hot, hot swap slots, what we call them. And you just put it in and out without having uh, to restart. So, connectivity and charging also easy. Overall, we like this phone. The only problem was that for a phone in India, no radio is always an issue. We guys like listening to our FM and moreover, there's no Bluetooth as well, so no exchanging uh, files or pictures uh, and uh, of course, no wireless headphones as well. Overall, the phone is a bit bulky too. We're giving it 3.5 stars because in the long run, once number portability is uh, allowed and you can switch your uh, uh, operator without giving up your phone number, maybe the need for two separate SIM cards will go down a bit. So 9,849 bucks also are not the best uh, uh, cost uh, you could get for a fairly average phone. 3.5 stars though because it's the best in the dual series we've seen in a long, long time. 